it's Daria here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving you guys another try on haul and it's another Melbourne based brand believe it or not so I'll be doing a haul on South Street The Label today. South Street The Label I actually found through Instagram so I'd never heard of this brand before but their Instagram page was popping I was really loving all their products that they have. A lot of their items have the oversized look and that is a vibe that I think is really in right now and I've been loving the oversized vibes. So I picked up five items I believe. I got two pairs of track pants, this kind of oversized zip sweater, a t-shirt and a pair of socks. So these were some items I'd been wanting to get my hands on for a while so I finally have and bringing this haul to you guys. I'll just mention quickly that I did get a few varied sizes so I've got some stuff in a small, some stuff in a medium. I don't think I got any larges. So shipping is free if you spend over $150 and for me personally, shipping took four to five days. I can't remember what it was exactly, but it was pretty quick considering the circumstances that we're in at the moment. Also with that, by the time you've got pretty much two items, you've hit the 150 mark, so it's not too bad. I will say one thing that did frustrate me was that with their items, you can never seem to get them all together. So I did actually make two orders just to get the products that I did want because everything is always sold out and things pop back and forth on the website so you can never really get all that you want in one hit which I do find a little frustrating but do understand that they are a smaller company so they can't really be having stuff in stock all the time I suppose it's easier to do like little launches and whatnot so I will be taking you guys through what products I did get and I thought for this video I'd do something a little different and I'll just talk through each of the products and insert some clips as we go so you can see them on my body type okay so I guess I'll get into showing you guys each of the products so I will start off first with the Kali tea so this is the blue Kali tea here and I got this in a medium so this is a really nice oversized tea and it's in white so I really just like this it's a really nice staple I love wearing oversized teas especially when I'm just lounging around the house and that kind of thing this is a really nice fabric it's just super comfy it's got the long sleeves and yeah I just really wanted it I actually really like the one I think it's in like an orangey red color as well so I might try and grab that sometime I don't know if I mentioned as well I did get this in a medium and I think this is around $60 so next up we have the LA shorts so these are like a kind of dark gray color and they just simply look like this it has a stitching down the middle and a nice stretchy waistband so these are like your classic bike shorts you can wear these as everyday shorts or you can actually wear these to the gym too when I tried these on I'm not really sure that I would wear these to the gym I'd probably wear them more as just a casual short with these I'm not sure that I would say they're worth $60 I probably would just stick with some cheaper ones from like misguided or boohoo I don't know they're, they're a really nice fabric, I will say that, but I'm not completely sure. They are double lined, which is really nice. You'll see when I try them on, I don't know, I don't really like them on my body type, these ones specifically. I don't know if I'm just being fussy or I might warm up to them, but on my initial try on that I first did, I wasn't a big fan of this product. Okay, so next up we have the South Street socks. So I got these in the black with the white South Street written on them. So these are so cute. I really like these. I want to get them in every color. I really wanted the white with the black right but they were of course sold out they also come in pink and I think an orange color as well but I really like these and I think these really look good with the gray um, joggers or even some black ones so these socks are $20 so they are a bit pricey for one pair of socks but I just really feel like they're a vibe so I did get those ones next up I got the no plan sweatpants in mild gray and these are $85 I got this pair in a small so that is them here I really love the big waistband on these and they're also fleece lined so they're super comfy they're nice and thick and they're just the ultimate cozy pair of sweatpants for the winter time and even when you're just lounging around the house Similar to the grey, I also got these sweatpants which are called the WFH sweatpants. I'm not really sure what that means but they're just in chocolate. So those ones here, they actually have like the drawstring that's the same colour so it matches a bit more. I got, I don't know if I mentioned I got these in a medium already but I did get these in a medium because I wasn't sure if I would be a small or medium. And I would say either works for me. So medium was just kind of a looser fit whereas the small was just like a nice tight fit so they were a bit more like accentuating my bum and all that kind of stuff and yeah I, re I really like both styles I don't think you can go wrong with choosing one or the other but if you want a more tracky 
loungy vibe, you'd probably want to go the medium. I normally wear a medium in trackies, but like in leggings and stuff, I'll wear a small. So I think they're kind of standard for my sizing with all other kind of products I do purchase. The chocolate sweatpants as well were also $85, so there's no price difference with those ones. So unlike the mild grey sweatpants I did show you, these ones are not fleece lined. So the inside of these looks like that, if you can see. So they're a little different. I still think they're really comfy and yeah that's pretty much it another feature i'll just show you guys quickly is down near that towards the ankle it has a little south street logo here so it's not that big and it's just a nice little cute touch so the last thing i have to show you is the london zip pullover and this was also 85 dollars and i'm actually wearing this right now so i got this in a medium i could also get away with getting this in a large just for that more oversized fit which i'm loving at the moment so yeah it's got the little zip that just goes to here and then up and I just think it's a really cute jumper. I would love to wear this just with trackies or also with my leggings just going on a nice walk. It's a really nice cozy fit. This isn't fleece lined. It's just the same as the chocolate sweatpants that I showed you. But it's still super comfy as well. So all of these items I really do love and I'll get a lot of wear out of. So I have no regrets about the purchases I did make. As I did say, the only thing that frustrates me with this brand is that you have to make multiple orders to get all the products that you do want because they're always in and out of stock so that's one thing to be mindful of when making a purchase from South Street. If you do want to check them out I'll just leave their Instagram page here for you to check out and I hope you do find some items that you would like to purchase from South Street and enjoy this little mini haul that I did for you guys. So I'll see you guys next time and bye for now. So tell me who's gonna love you, love you like I do Who's gonna touch you, touch you like I do